doing this work has made my, my wrist very robust and resilient. Um, I, you know, check it out, see how you feel, stick with it for a couple of weeks, see if things are getting better. Again, use common sense. Don't go into pain. Discomfort's fine. Go slow enough that you can approach perhaps the sensitive area and stop before you go into something that might be too much for you. Hope this helps. Have a good day. I just want to do a relatively quick video on the wrist prep that I do. I've been doing this daily again for a while. I've done this years ago and I stopped and my wrist started getting a little chunky. So I'm coming back to this. Um, it's not fancy, but it's pretty effective and it's sort of a conglomerate of things that I've learned from hand balancers, like folks at the Portal, some uh, flow fit, some uh, animal flow, just, just all these different things. I don't even know where any of it came from at this point. Some of it might have been made up by me. I don't really know, but it is effective. Um, so I always like to start out getting some fluid in the joints by just doing some basic finger wrist waves, you know, pinky, index, middle, ring, then the wrist, thumb, then reverse that movement. So you're going into full flexion and extension in the wrists being mindful to try and maximize that range of motion. You can go faster if you have that prerequisite of getting that full range of motion, but otherwise slow is just fine. Um, another strategy is to skip the palms together and just get the movement here. Um, but the basic idea is you want to lubricate those joints, get them moving, get them fluid. That's the start. From there, I'm going to make a very wide base, place my hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. I'm going to rotate my elbow pits forward once I've loaded the ground, protract the scaps from this position, gripping the ground. I'm going to rock forward as far as seems safe and comfortable for me, just to that end range of motion. I usually do about 10 reps. Um, you can do holds, but you want to go through this range of motion. Again, elbow pits forward protracting those scaps, we'll call this nine, 10. That last rep, I hold that position and do a first knuckle push up. What that means is I'm going to press the palm off the ground, leaving the fingers on the ground, putting most of the weight in that index finger. Up, down, three, four, five, six. Again, trying to keep those elbow pits forward and the scaps protracted that broad back. Nine, ten. Then I'm going to press the entire hand off as a single unit. If you have uh, some kind of double jointedness, you want to kind of tent the fingers a little bit. You don't want to collapse those fingers into a compromised position. So strong hand pressing up. Again, elbow pits forward, scaps protracted. Nine, ten. And you can load all this stuff from a plank. You can add weight. You can take weight off. However, it works for you. I'm going to externally rotate maximally, plant the entire hand on the ground, rotate the other hand down. This I usually just do as a, a hold, um, depending on how people respond to it. If there's lots of moans and groans, we hold longer. Um, people are feeling pretty good, just 15 seconds is fine. Um, this morning, we held it for about a minute, and then at the end, we did some active contractions at the end, so I'm gonna pretend like we've been here for you know, 90 seconds or something like that. Then I'm going to actively press the hands into the ground. Press, 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 press. Full body contraction. Press. Then relax without moving. Then I'm going to try and actively lift the palms off the ground. I'm not going to have success, but I'm going to activate the muscles on the front of that forearm. Lift, lift, lift. And relax. I'm going to internally rotate maximally. You can see the asymmetry in my arms here. And then press up, a little slidey floor. I'm trying to keep the shoulders away from the ears, scaps protracted, I'm trying to get the whole hand on the ground. I really struggle with this one, but things you struggle with are generally where you need to spend more time. Press, press, press. You can do a 15 second, 20 second, however you want to do it. Um, I've heard this referred to as a bulldog push up. This can be done as a push up. Again, not letting the shoulders shrug up, keeping them back, extending, trying to keep that first knuckle down. Again, for brevity, we'll say nine, 10. From there, my wrists are, you know, they're getting a little spicy, so I wanna get some movement back in. We can do the finger waves. 
or get those palms together, and alternate, do all these fun things. So once those joints are feeling lubricated and loose again, then it gets kind of funky. And this is an area where people with problems in their wrists, uh, if they're really jacked up, lots of injuries, that type of thing, really all this you need to be very sensitive of just delineating between uh, pain and discomfort. So discomfort, totally fine, but if you have pain or there's something saying stop, listen to it, otherwise, here we go. So I'm going to place my palms up, elbow pits forward, protract the scaps. I'm gonna do my best to try and make a fist. You can see it's sort of a gorilla looking fist. I'm gonna squeeze. This is gonna be pretty novel if you haven't done this before, but it's excellent. And again, nine. 10, I'm gonna release the palms, bring my elbows to the floor, make a fist, make the tightest fist I possibly can, to keep that fist as much as possible as I extend the elbows. Now if I only get to here, that's my rep. But the focus is on squeezing a tight fist, working towards getting those elbows locked out, but the range of motion is less important than the tension in the grip. Squeeze. Imagine that you've got hold of something you don't wanna let go in those fists, and again, your reps could be just here. That's probably where most people are gonna be at. Nine, 10. Um, from here, I wanna keep working this. So I'll do a simpler variation of this. Again, elbow pits forward, protracted. I'm just going to be like, I'm doing this kind of motion, like pressing away, pressing into a fist, down. So I'm active on the negative, as well as pressing up. Again, this could be pretty spicy, so make a good decision. Um, I also do another variation where we sort of rock up to the one side and then pour the, tip, the hip, uh, wrist forward, so it's this movement, as well as back. So I'm gonna rock forward and down. So I make this kind of circular. This might be a little bit more confusing if you're not familiar with this. This is fine, rocking forward, lower down. So. That's my basic wrist prep. I've been doing it every day, and that puts me in a position where if I'm just, you know, it's the afternoon and I wanna like do some cartwheels or pop into a handstand, my wrists are like, yeah, we can handle it. When I wasn't doing this daily, not such a good idea. I might pop into a handstand. Again, my, I've had a lot of sprains um, over the years. My, my wrist mobility is not great. I have that range, um, but, <laughs> You see what I'm working with here, and it's just, I don't know if it's just the structure, um, but doing this work has made my, my wrist very robust and resilient. Um, I, you know, check it out, see how you feel, stick with it for a couple of weeks, see if things are getting better. Again, use common sense. Don't go into pain. Discomfort's fine. Go slow enough that you can approach perhaps the sensitive area and stop before you go into something that might be too much for you. Hope this helps. Have a good day.